What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are back to working on the old Bronco. As you've seen in previous videos I've done, I've touched this suspension a lot. We did the upper control arms, we did a four wheel parts lift, a uh, two inch spacer lift. Uh, went from that to doing um, the zone four inch lift which is two inch spacer two inch perch collar and then from that we went to the eibach coilovers and so we've done all that the only thing we've changed for geometry is the upper control arms where we have these bds upper control arms uh, so we are definitely pushing the limits of the geometry i want to start correcting for that start getting things back in alignment to where they belong and one of the uh the first things is the trek bar if you take a look that should be a bit flatter across but the axle staying exactly where it was but we've put at it four inches of lift so we've lifted this side up of this trek bar which has pulled everything pulled the entire axle to the left some at static so we just did the measurements and we're at about a half inch shifted to the left off center but it is definitely shifted over that way a bit and so we need to shift it back this way now one way to do that would obviously be to install an adjustable track bar so we can lengthen it shorten it to pull it one way or the other as we need it but we still have the problem where this is tilted too much it's angled too much it should be flatter well there's two ways to do it you could lower this side do a uh, track bar bracket that lowered the, the body side or one to raise the axle side so what i've done is i ordered the fabtech track bar brace which is going to do exactly that we're going to take the track bar out of this side, put the brace in, and lift the track bar up, which should correct some of our geometry there and uh, get everything better aligned. We'll try that first, see how everything works, and if that gives it enough lift, because it's designed for a three to four inch lift um, to kind of center everything out. So hopefully that does the trick. If not, then we'll switch to a uh, adjustable track bar as well with that lift that way we can get it super dialed in but i have a feeling with just the track bar bracket we're going to be pretty close we got jack stands on ideally we'd have tires off in case we need to come down further i think we'll be all right famous last words we'll see i have another jack if i need to go jack up the other side or something but uh yeah, to disconnect the track bar, it's pretty simple. There's just one bolt, or a 24 millimeter right bolt right here. The nut is on the other side, it's already held in place. Uh, that just comes out. Let me lift that up. I said the nut was... There's a bracket that holds the nut in place, so you don't need to put a wrench or anything on that, but... Basically, that's all we're doing. We're going to put the track bar bracket in here, which is going to lift that up. We're going to make, as you see, when we put that in place, it makes this track bar more flat across instead of the angle that it was in. So uh, let's get that track bar and or bracket and throw it over here. Let's see how that looks. And you see. Now where we were lined up down here, as we come up, our track bar is off center now. So we need to shift everything over. Uh, obviously it's a bit exaggerated because we're not completely lined up, but it should give you a basic idea. Let me grab a rubber mallet so I can knock this into place so we can get everything lined up and marked out. This bracket 
it's just got the one bolt holding on it so it could potentially tweak this way and that so that's what the this arm over here is for and there's two holes here need to mark these and we're going to drill out the metal behind with a half inch drill uh drill bit and then we're going to tap use some self-tapping screws to or bolts to bolt into that to keep that steady and we'll tighten this down and that'll be steady and then we'll put our our other bolt in through there which will mount just like it would have been mounted down here but much like i said three inches higher which should help center our axle a bit better than it was all right that mark all right well I never bit the tip off of a step bit before but there we go all right so that is that is pretty strong uh metal there so i gotta do the same thing on this side i won't bore you with watching me flood my way through that and then once we get those drilled we'll step back and get this all set up so i was wrong we're not uh tapping these it is a washer and a nut on the back side it's a 16 millimeter on the outside and the inside is an 18 millimeter. Yeah, so these, this and this one are get torqued to 65 foot pounds. So this one goes to 160 foot pounds. So our bar is almost lined up, but we got to go over that way a bit. Alright, so this, we'll use the supplied bolt, and we'll try to... Now one issue here is this brake line is right where that bolt is going so I'm going to take this looks to be a 10 millimeter I'm going to take that out see if we can't get that out of the way until we get this bolt on and see if it goes back I just don't want that line which I guess they're both on the same plane so it wouldn't really vibrate against each other but uh, I don't like that being completely up against the brake line so I'm gonna loosen this get that bolt on and then we'll see all right actually that nut that is going to fit right over there so the nut's going to be fine and it's going to be sitting right on that isolator like I said they're all part of the same unit so they shouldn't be twisting and moving from each other so I think we'll be all right there I just need to find a wrench that'll fit on there so I can finish tightening tightening this down all right yeah now that that's pulled tight that sits under there fine it's pretty tight fit but it's not rubbing so that's fine I just got to get that Make sure this lines back up, which it does. All right. So I was concerned. I didn't think that was going to work, but apparently it does. Torque this bad boy to 170. So let me get this tightened down, we'll get this torqued down, and we'll get everything set on the ground and see how it looks. Well, 
I was editing videos and I realized I had never finished this video off. But we got the uh, everything back down. And actually we shifted the other way just a little bit, not quite as far as we were. Um, so yeah, an adjustable track bar is probably in the future. I am going to bring this back down a little bit since I have the spare and everything off the back. The back does sit up a bit higher than it did. Um, and I know that because now it scrapes coming in or out of the garage where towards the back uh, where before it did not and while you can look at it and see it is uh leaning forward pretty far so i am going to go ahead and uh adjust these coilovers that's the good thing about having these i'm going to go ahead and bring them down a little bit kind of level this out a bit more and so that's not scraping and then i'll remeasure again when i do that to see how far off we are and then yeah it'll probably require an adjustable track bar to get it perfect it's pretty close now i said it's off the other direction than it was before we put the uh track bar bracket on there so yeah we went from one extreme one side to the other side if i lower it down maybe we'll bring pull it a little closer to center or I've been really taking a look at the triangulated uh, four link instead of doing keeping the five link. So maybe I'll do something like that um, instead. Maybe we'll see what the future holds. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, let us know you like it. Or if you don't like it, comment down below why. And it is appreciated that you're watching, so thank you. If you do want to see videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And I'll see you next time.